Let's uh, talk about though the uh, potential of weather here, and we talked about weather today, a Rangers weather day, and let everybody know the difference between a watch and a warning. And now all of you at home that are watching, uh, you know we have a tornado watch now in effect until 10 o'clock this evening. That does include the Metroplex, meaning conditions are favorable for storms that could see some tornadoes. So that's what we're looking at at least right now. So uh, just stay weather aware. And as we're taking a look at exactly what's happening on the radar, we are dry right now through parts of North Texas, but we're starting to see severe weather continuing to hold together out to the west. Still seeing a new severe thunderstorm watch now for Callahan, Coleman, Reynolds, and Taylor counties until 5 o'clock. That's still west of Brownville, uh, round with that is west of Stephenville. This is continuing to pull its way to the northeast, just off to the north, just a bit more. You can also see that we do have that tornado warning remaining in effect right now. Uh, that is for Tillman and Wilbarger County until about 4:45. All of this activity developing right along the dry line that is continuing to push its way slowly to the east. So we still have a little bit of a cap overhead here in North Texas, but it's been weakening over the past three to four hours. Storm timeline kind of slowing down just a bit. Looking at the latest information coming in and where the storms are now, still out in our west counties between about 4 to 7 o'clock from near Bowie to Mineral Wells, stretching down to Stephenville and Comanche. You're going to be seeing that line of storms first, then going to about 7 to 10 o'clock pushing its way into parts of the Metroplex and then going through about 10 to probably the uh, 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock hour in the morning. We're going to continue to see it pushing its way east uh, through some of our east counties. But still, the potential is there for strong to possibly severe storms that could see large hail. We are under uh, that uh, slight to the moderate risk of severe storms for us through parts of North Texas and the Metroplex. So scattered to numerous severe storms are going to be possible into the evening hours. What are we talking about? Well, the hail possibly up to the size of baseballs, winds maybe 70 to 80 mile per hour, wind gusts, and then that tornado threat is going to be there as we go into the afternoon hours, probably more towards the evening hours. Not a high threat, but still the potential is there. So the future sky forecast picking up on some of that activity that I showed you, really developing down towards the south line, trying to come together between about 7 to 8 o'clock, closer towards the Metroplex, and then working its way eastward. You notice by 8 to 9 o'clock, possibly some pockets of some very heavy rain, maybe some strong wind gusts, some ponding of the water on the roadways as these storms will continue to push their way through and even going closer towards midnight to one, still working their way off towards the east. So just make sure that you uh, definitely stay weather aware. And then into tomorrow, we're going to be seeing 70 degrees to start it out, back up to 87, but you notice in the late afternoon hours, another chance of strong to possibly severe storms. And we have the dry line developing again tomorrow, and it looks like the rain's going to be spreading its way into the afternoon hours, into the early evening hours. Also, a risk of severe weather, slight to then a moderate risk of severe storms into tomorrow afternoon into the evening hours. Then the seven day forecast shows more rain on Saturday, so have the umbrella close by. But we